<laughs> I went to music college in Manchester, um, the, Ro the Royal Northern College of Music. And I did two and a half years. I didn't stay the whole course because I wanted to get on with my own music. But it was playing the piano for six to eight hours a day. You know, and like really getting the chops going. But it was always rock and roll that I wanted to do. I mean, I, I, I mean, I didn't, I'd never be a classical pianist. So I, just never I, went, I went that route very okay. shortly in my life. I, I, I was in school, in music school yeah. and all that. Yeah. And I, nah, no, it didn't, it didn't resonate with me. No. I'm, I'm, I'm not a typewriter. No, exactly. <laughs> Don't be playing dead people's music. That's what I feel like. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I know, yeah. the, 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 you know what I mean. I used to be at college during the day and then I got a job at the radio station playing from 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. Mm. every 20 minutes on the radio Piccadilly. It was in Manchester. And so... You were, you were allowed to just play? Live, li live, and I, I could do what, covers. What, breaks or something? Um, well, what? it was because they had to have a certain amount of live music by law. No. <laughs> on the station. Wow. Oh, that's good music. Wow. That's a typical <laughs> British. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Bullshit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sure. So, so I did things like I mean, I learned to play uh, Bohemian Rhapsody, which is like, was it eight minutes or something? Holy crap. And, and, and then uh, they'd get phone calls from security guards who are the only people listening <laughs> between two and six in the morning. <laughs> no kidding. Complaining. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I got to Wait, explain. complaining about what? About what I was doing. You know, oh, was, whoa, whoa. Yeah, you know, why don't you play some real music? Oh, and we, and we were, no. And then sleep in a cupboard and then go back into college and start stuff the next day. That's, that's what you do. You were your folks mad at you that you didn't go the classical route? No, my parents were just amazing. They just... They were like cool. They just, whatever, whatever. Wow. Yeah, they just supported me, and they, they were amazing. Yeah, I hear you. They were great. Uh, mine, mine, mine as well. Yeah, yeah. I was playing in bands when I was 14. You, you must have been doing that as well. The, the originals? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Spinal Tap, the new originals. <laughs> the new originals. Well, was, the name was already taken, so we had to change our name to the new originals. <laughs> the name was taken. <laughs> I always let the guests uh, suggest songs of mine to do. And I always say, go deep, you know? Don't, don't give me, like, the normal, normal, normal. And uh, he came up with one that I didn't even remem remember that I had written or recorded. You know, yeah. I, I love the fact you picked Little Night Love, Take Control. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, I forgot <laughs> about that song. It was it's, so much out of my head that I had to learn it like it was somebody else's song. It's a killer song. It was on my uh, Our Kind of Soul so, album. And I love the lyrics, you know. That's why I, 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 that really suited me. I love what it's saying, you know. Let love take control. Sweet. Yeah. Can you can you do the second verse? I can do the second verse. Little things can put you down. Oh yeah, that's yeah. my favorite. Okay. Can I do the middle eight? Yeah. You know, maybe you can take on the chorus. I go love take control. Sweet love. Maybe you could go take love take control. Let's do kind of do what we did with uh, get to know you well. The intro on the record fades in on that that major seven. Yeah. It may or may not work here. I mean, if that doesn't work, we could we could. I have another idea, but see what you think. Because it goes right into it. It's, it. Like it never gets a chance to set up. It's hard to do without all the production. It just starts with that, right? It just, just well, on the record, it's got, it's got that chord. It's major seven. Oh, it's right. And it just sort of sits, and then it's. Just sit that way. I'm all right with that. You cool with that? Yeah. That's, that's what I'm Yeah, let's let, let's it. do a crescendo yeah, into it. How many? Is it two bars or one bar? I don't know. Two let's bars? Do, let's do two bars. Like, I'm a soul. Okay. Like that. I'm starting to remember this song, actually. Finally, it's coming back to me. <laughs>
it like singing love take control let love take control again after i had a real learn it all right <laughs> <laughs> i listened to that song i was like, oh. i wrote that i had but no that, recollection of it none no recollection of it how did you find it well as i i pretty much went through the entire daryl hawk <laughs> deep dive and, and it was it was fa it was fascinating. No, I love learning, the fact you did that. Learning learning about you through your through your work, and it's like because it, 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 it's it's varied. There's all kind, of, and it and it and it, it sort of reflects the time it was recorded in and all that stuff. It reflects yeah. the time and the and the and, and the situations I've been in. Yes, the situations. Yeah. You could tell that there was oh, there's obviously something going on in the background because it is. Some of it was wasn't it doesn't it didn't feel quite what you wanted, and then other stuff was just totally. In and the, sometimes in the it goes like boom. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Like that that song, Love K Control, and that yeah. whole album. I, yeah. I did that in a place yeah. uh, in a shack uh, that I had built in my yard in the Bahamas. Yeah. Called and I, we called it five grand because that's how much it cost to build it. <laughs> yeah. It was just T Bone, me, and a guy named Greg Beak, who. We just went in there, and we had no equipment. I mean, in those days, Harbor Island, there was nothing there. We borrowed a base from the church. We, it was like, you know, there was nothing there. And we made the whole album with Greg Beek's equipment and that stuff. And it was such a, if you really listen close to some of the songs you can uh, on that album, you can hear the ocean in the background. And we, we were, it was, like you say, it was one of those, it all yeah. came together, yeah. that Matrix thing. Yeah. It was like, yeah. it just, that everything was perfect. And I'm yeah. so glad you picked that song. Okay.